Welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. Before we meet up with Aloy, make sure you hit subscribe and the like button as it helps me out tremendously in reaching my thousand sub goal. Now let's ride. Alright, so let me get this straight. The angry orb that we thrashed at the battle for Meridian. <laughs> uh, don't there she is. Let me uh cut you off there. You ready to head out? I guess. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Huh. <laughs> Crazy to see Aaron. Cry. Uh, this distress call. Had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Crawling up the side of a fucking mountain. Broker shield. What kind of an attack was well, that shock? Keg. Everybody basically just took care of themselves. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Yeah, I want to see what she had on her. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Lost. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? Fierce will stiffen this cold. It looked like she can make it come and go at will, but it's gone now. Yeah. It's fabricated. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. They killed this thing. The Spectre had instructions to. Assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this oh, asset is. Oh, so the at, um, Athenia, whatever the fuck, maybe it is a real distress signal, and they caught it too. Forge's breath. What a mess. Where did she get shot from? Come on, pick it up, pick, no, nope. okay, whatever. Breathe in all that smoke. Ah, uh, our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Shouldn't take too long. We're out in the middle of the f fucking tundra. An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? 
All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errant. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. Mm -hmm. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers who do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. Be really useful to have on us. For something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? Yeah. I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. I think it's a Luthia, but <clears throat> not if the Osram were here waiting for her. Like, how would they know? That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Hmm. Like, Looks like some kind of data center. It asked for help against them. Might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Very interesting. Okay. What the hell is that? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self destructed. Alright. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths so, still searching for it? Exploring another far zenith ruin. Okay, cut me off. Oops. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Oh shit, there's something right there. Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. Where in the f this way? Actogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a zero dawn cradle facility. So this might have been. This keeps on going. 
Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. Probably <laughs> not. Somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Aaron taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, the Zenith, the Focus... It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and <laughs> turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. What are we looking for here? More supply boxes. Okay. Jesus, <clears throat> that reflection played a trick on me. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. What about here? Nothing. Enter a code. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. It's 237. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. That's why they couldn't find it. Because there's more than 236. What the fuck? Is this the same clone? Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? The fuck? Oh, um, Spit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have a Lufia, Artemis, and Apollo. They have Apollo? But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. Huh. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. Jesus. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Twist my rubber arm. 
Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Dude, Apollo is. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. He wasn't purged. Can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. What am I doing? Prepare for battle. But through the door? Or are they gonna come out? Here it comes! Oh shit. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Uh, Spectre. It's weak to acid. Holy shit, that thing moves fast. Come on. I don't know ever like what to look for without fucking uh without fucking messing up my like just standing there looking like an idiot. Damn it. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, destroyed one kid. Generation unit, indestructible. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Give me them parts. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. 
Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Um. Okay. <sighs> Shit. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I don't know. Okay. I'm going the right way. Thank God. I'm coming. Errand. Yeah, the specter's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Yep. I see the light. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Come on. Come on. Errand. I'm here. Ow, oh, fuck. My Just job. immediately gets headshot. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. And the second you need me, I'm there. Oh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it. If I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. I need to sneak around behind it. Tough fight. Tough fight. Tough fight. Tough fight. Tough fight. I could use it against the Spectre. Oh, I see. Get behind it, get behind it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Sup, you fucking bitch. Oh. That did not do as much damage as I hoped it was going to. Jesus, fuck. Come on. Bitch. <sighs> He's on fucking fire. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Aaron, don't be freaked out. Uh, Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story. But it'll have to wait. She needs a healer. But we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? How are we gonna get her down the mountain? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I guess that's their problem, huh? If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all.
Stalker dart gun? This thing... Fucking sucks. Um... Did it just crumble? Oh, damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Anybody see one of my machines? I'm gonna talk to Gaia first. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Hmm. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Oh, fuck, of course. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Hmm. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not going to cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Got it. <clears throat> right. Thanks, Gaia. <sighs> so the old ones painted their faces with something like makeup, like the Karja. Why? Yeah, beats me. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. All right, Varl. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. She's smart as the shit. Brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. 
Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. How do we know she's not going to go back to those guys? Booting up. So, sure is your focus on the other side. I suppose ahead. you want information about you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago. That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... Huh. The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. Only a few hundred years. For themselves, not their descendants. It's what? them? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? Hundreds of years. How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made on the way to Earth, on the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface, all so that I could serve my function, access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Why? It's doing just fine. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. Hopefully there's not sort of a uh, tracker in the Gaia Colonel, you know? The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but... The only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. <laughs> So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. So, it's crazy, even though they're clones of each other, it's... I mean... Um... Apart from their personalities, uh... And hairstyles, you know? They're very distinguishable from each other. Like, um... Aloy's voice is kind of more gruff and lower and hers is more timid and higher 
But it is crazy how much they're set apart from each other just by like the fucking crazy ass hairstyle that Aloy has. And the chop shop fucking lawnmower haircut that Beta has. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors Just the fucking sitting above Earth. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Mm -hmm. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. Hmm. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach, must have been frustrating. <laughs> How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. Mm -hmm. Venus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! Okay, calm down. 
You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. Nope. I hadn't. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Okay. Rude. Geo engineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Do you know how much of this shit was physical? Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. God. <laughs> How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. Great. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. All right. Well. Pam, it's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Oh, you're the one that helped me find it. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. We got four months. What the fuck are all these exclamation points? Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. Uh, they don't go away. Let's just go to the land gods. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar the to the land gods. Apex ones. You mean Grimhorns? Oh. Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well. But taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. Never is. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. All right. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. <laughs> uh. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. This chest? Superior supply cache. Damn. Is this just for being away for a long time? That's fucking Looks dope. Like the old ones used their focuses to send all kinds of messages. Back I want to hear what she says. All over the world too. Anytime they wanted. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. I wouldn't want my aunt Alga knowing she could just talk to me every second. Of the day. <laughs> my ears would pop off. All right, well, let's get out there and do some side shit, huh? 
Oh, I missed it. That's all of them. No, I need to get into these ruins. Stop whatever this Vez was doing. Um. Hey, I can help you get in. Lots of cash is everywhere. Let's talk. Do I have to talk to him? Can you, uh... It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So... Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. Hmm. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back- And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Yep. That's what NPCs like to do. Why do I not have a goddamn mount anymore? Oh, look at all this. Oh shit. You're mine. That was an accident. Did not mean to make it that loud. Oh hell yeah. Looks like this place was under siege. Whisper Hunter Bow. Pretty lame. Men of shadows. The blood and sweat of our slaves in this ancient battleground. And soon we will reap our destiny. That's my way in. There we go. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. Okay, so we got this guy here. We got somebody out that way. Got these two here. We got a patrolling fucking bird. This clown here. I don't see anyone else. Upon this fortress, we construct the foundation of our empire. We, privileged few, will rule over thousands. Where is this guy going? Calm down, calm down. Things get loud whenever long legs involved. No more longer will we be burned by 
Can I? I can't. Uh, I can't make a thing out of it. I can't. I cannot uh, override it. That's what the word I was looking for. Come on, are you seriously not gonna fucking... Whatever. We won't stop with Meridian. The known world will tremble as our shadow stretches across the land. I need to get in some bushes. you guys doing? Holy fuck. have to be connected to a power source somewhere probably inside that big structure but that's where I'll find him all right then let's go in who is she I gotta let them out help us calm down everyone oh don't hit it just open it hang tight I'll get you out of there You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. What will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Dude, sure. I just did. For the bad guys. Got him. Got him. All of you. Perfect find response. Find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, take care of us. Like, you see anybody else out there? I did that. Later. Did not mean to stop it, just meant to look for the thing.
Well, this is gonna be a boss fight. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. <sighs> the savior of Marie. This seems very big for just the two of us. Shut up, Vezra. Damn. It's over. <laughs> Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom, but now is the time for revenge. Ravagers. That Ravager isn't going to make things easy. I gotta take it out too fast. Against acid, I've got some acid shit on me. Oh fuck! Oh, that helps. Purge water. Kidding me? Okay, well, it doesn't need that much left. you're going down next. Where'd he go? Are you serious? Uh, Fucking whammo, bro. It's all right, I got you this time. Holy shit. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards with this. 
is beautiful. The others. I, I told them to hide. Are, are they... Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plainsong. Thanks, Yef. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades. Said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Loyal Eclipse. Oh, there's any more Eclipse we need to worry about. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. We've already seen that one. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. There's a safe in there. in the gloom of future conquest. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive. They'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first. <clears throat> five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. What did you find? Vezra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. No. Nope. But if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. I already made it there. Long before you did, so. Ciao. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And you can always find more stuff like this on my channel. So subscribe for more of me and you'll see me in the next one.